11. That when a debtor for a sum below 40 shillings shall abscond and leave the county, the warrant granted as aforesaid shall extend to any goods or chattels of the said debtor as may be found and such goods or chattels be seized and held in custody by the constable for the space of thirty days, in which term, if the debtor fails to return and discharge the debt, the constable shall return the warrant to one of the select men of the company where the goods and chattels are found, who shall issue orders to the constable to sell such a part of the said goods as shall amount to the sum due, that when the debt exceeds forty shillings, the return shall be made to the convention, who shall issue the orders for sale. 12. That all receivers and collectors of quitrants, public and county taxes, do pay the same into the hands of the chairman of this committee, to be by them dispersed as the public exigencies may require and that such receivers and collectors proceed no farther in their office until they be approved of by and have given to this committee good and sufficient security for a faithful return of such monies when collected. 13. That the committee be accountable to the county for the application of all monies received from such public officers. 14. That all these officers hold their commissions during the pleasure of their respective constituents. 15. That this commission will sustain all damages that may ever hereafter accrue to all or any of these officers thus appointed, and thus acting on account of their obedience and conformity to these resolves. 16. That whatever person shall hereafter receive a commission from the Crown, or attempt to exercise any such commission heretofore received, shall be deemed an enemy to his country, and upon information being made to the captain of the company where he resides, the said captain shall cause him to be apprehended, and conveyed before the two select men of the said company, who, upon proof of the fact, shall commit him, the said offender, into safe custody until the next setting of the convention, who shall deal with him as prudence may direct. 17. That any person refusing to yield obedience to the above resolves shall be deemed equally criminal and liable to the same punishments as the offenders above last mentioned. 18. That these resolves be in full force and virtue until instructions from the General Congress of this province, regulating the jurisprudence of this province, shall provide otherwise, or the legislative body of Great Britain resign its unjust and arbitrary pretensions with respect to America. 19. That the several militia companies in this county do provide themselves with proper arms and accoutrements, and hold themselves in readiness to execute the commands and directions of the Provincial Congress and of this committee. 20. That this committee do appoint Colonel Thomas Polk and Dr. Joseph Kennedy to purchase 300 pounds of powder, 600 pounds of lead, and 1,000 flints, and deposit the same in some safe place hereafter to be appointed by the committee. Signed by order of the committee, Ephraim Brevard, Clerk of the committee.